Hello everyone. In the previous session, we are talking of structure of plant cell. Today, I will discuss about cell wall. In the plant cell, mainly two parts are present. They are number one, cell wall. First one is cell wall, and second one is protoplasm. Protoplasm. These two parts are present in a plant cell today i am going to explain structure of cell wall cell wall cell wall is a hard rigid and tough structure cell wall is a hard and rigid and tough structure it is the outermost covering of cells okay this cell wall is found in mainly plants cell wall is found in plants next fungi and prokaryotes prokaryotes okay in prokaryotes um, cell wall is absent in mycoplasma except mycoplasma remaining prokaryotes having cell wall in fungi myxomyces members do not have cell wall okay in plants gametes gametes do not contain cell wall okay again in the cell wall in the cell wall three layers are observed how many layers three layers three layers are observed those three layers are number one middle lamella middle lamella or lamellum second one is primary cell wall primary cell wall and third one is secondary cell wall secondary cell wall these three layers are observed in a plant cell okay in the first one middle lamellum middle lamellum i'm drawing here this is middle lamellum middle lamellum is a cement like substance this is a cementum like substance which is present between two adjacent cells for example this is cell a and this is cell b this is middle lamella this middle lamella is present between two adjacent cells and this lamella helps in the formation of tissues helps in the formation of tissues i am writing here this is middle lamella which helps in formation of tissues formation of tissues it is a cement like substance cement like substance and this middle lamellum is made up of with calcium or magnesium pectates calcium or magnesium pectates and this middle lamellum is develops from a cell plate which is formed during cell division during cell division for example this is one cell and this cell is divided to form two cells uh, during cell division a uh, cell plate is formed from this cell plate this middle lamellum is developed are you understand and uh, in the formation of middle lamellum golgi bodies and vacuoles golgi bodies and vacuoles play an important role this is about middle lamellum are you understand middle lamellum is a cement like substance which is present between two adjacent cells and it helps in the formation of tissues by joining cells and 
it is made up of with calcium and magnesium peptides it is develops from uh, cell plate formed during cell division golgi bodies and vacuoles play an important role in the formation of middle lamella okay next second one primary cell wall primary cell wall is formed on the either side of the middle lamellum okay are you understand this is middle lamellum in uh, a cell this side this is primary cell wall on this side primary cell wall primary cell wall is formed on the either side of the middle lamellum this is elastic like substance elastic in nature that middle lamella i am right i am writing here this is primary cell wall primary cell wall this primary cell wall is elastic like substance elasticity this is elastic like substance and which helps in increase of the uh, cell size increasing of cell size and this primary cell wall is made up of with um, cellulose cellulose and hemicellulose hemicellulose and pectin pectin primary cell wall is made up of with cellulose hemicellulose pectin and polysaccharides this primary cell wall is mainly found in younger tissues younger tissues younger tissues like meristematic tissues and parenchyma next third one secondary cell wall uh, when the cell attains maximum size and shape secondary cell wall is formed on the inner side of the primary cell wall this is primary cell wall on the inner side of the primary cell wall this side uh, in b cell this side secondary cell wall is formed inner side of the primary cell wall okay uh, this uh, i am drawing here this is primary cell wall primary cell wall is formed on the inner side this primary cell wall is made up of with lignin lignin cutin and subalin lignin cutin and subalin due to the presence of this lignin cutin and subalin the secondary cell wall is impervious to water it is impermeable impermeable to water and gases impermeable to water and gases and these substances lignin cutin subalin are not deposited uniformly at certain places these are not deposited at certain places these are not deposited those places are called pits those places are called pits again lignin cutin and subalin are uh, deposited in different orientations based on that uh, this secondary wall have three zones based on orientation and deposition of lignin cutin and subalin secondary wall having three zones those zones are s1 s2 s3 zones s1 s2 and s3 zones for example this is s1 zone next s2 zone next one s3 zone s1 s2 s3 zone like that here also i am drawing s1 s2 and s3 this is s1 s2 s3 three zones okay s1 zone is near to the primary cell wall and s3 zone is the innermost zone 
innermost layer of the uh, cell wall innermost layer of the cell wall is s3 or understand and s1 zone is near to the primary cell wall and inner to the s1 zone s2 zone is s2 zone is present next uh, this lignin cutin and suberin are deposited in different variations like uh, i am uh, explaining here for example in s1 zone these lignin cutin suberin are uh, arranged in diagonal shape diagonal orientation next in s2 zone they are arranged vertically ne next in s3 zone they are arranged horizontal sorry these are horizontal zones here they are arranged vertically like that they are arranged in different orientations based on that they are divided into three zones um, coming to pits pits are useful in exchange of cellular contents from this cell to this cell this side also having s1 s2 and s3 zones that means secondary cell wall this is b cell in the b cell also secondary cell walls are present this is s1 s2 next s3 like that this cell also having secondary cell wall coming to these pits pits are of two types pits pits are mainly two types they are simple pits and second type is bordered pits border pits i am drawing here once again this is middle lamella middle lamella on the either side of the middle lamella primary cell wall is present this is primary cell wall inner to the primary cell wall secondary cell wall is there this is secondary cell wall this is a cell and this is b cell this is secondary cell wall in the secondary cell wall this lignin cutin and suberin are not deposited at certain places those places are called pits those places are called pits for example in this place these lignin cutin are not deposited they are not deposited such place is called pit if the pit area is even or uniform then it is called simple pit simple pit uniform area means the starting point of the pit and the ending and that means base of the pit are uh, uniform they are equal in diameter such pits are called simple pits these simple pits are found in angiosperms they are found in angiosperms next coming to second type border pits in border pits same these lignin cutin suberin are unevenly deposited they are not deposited at certain places if they are deposited they are uneven for example see here uh, in border pits secondary cell wall is uneven they are crescent shaped they are crescent shaped starting point is narrow and base is broad stop are you listen i am drawing here this is secondary cell wall like this this is primary cell wall next this is middle lamella this is the starting point this is the ending point that means this is the base this is the starting point starting point is narrow and base is broad or wide they are uneven diameter is not equal such pits are called border
pits. These border pits are found in gymnosperms. Gymnosperms. Next, coming to functions. The main functions of cell wall is the uh, cell wall gives a particular shape to the cell and which gives protection to the inner parts of the cell and uh, inner parts of the cell. Okay, this is about cell wall structure. Thank you.